my favorite time of the month and that is my roll the dice tbr video so let's find out what i will be rolling to read in the month of may all right time for roll one that landed on number one which is lost man by jane harper so here is The Lost Man. This is one of my books that I've had on my shelves for quite a while now, so I'm very excited to read it. It is also a five-star prediction because I love Jane Harper's other novels, so very excited for this one. Let's erase and replace. All right, and I have replaced that now with a memory called Empire, which is a sci-fi novel, so let's do roll two. That is number eight, which is The Black Prism. So here is The Black Prism by Brent Weeks, one of my must read books of 2020. And I'm so excited to start this epic adult fantasy series. So this will be book two. And another Erase and Replace. And I have now replaced that with Uprooted by Naomi Novik. So we will do roll three. Number six, that is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, another one of my must read books of 2020 and another first book in an epic adult fantasy series, which I've been so excited to read. So can't wait to get to this one. And we will erase and replace. And I have now replaced that with Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. So roll number four. Number seven. Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. Wow, this month is super heavy on the epic adult fantasy books. So another must read book of 2020. I think I'm officially running out of these books now. So I'm very excited to finally be getting to this one as well. And I had to now replace that with actually one of my already owned books instead of a must read book because I think I'm running out of that category. So Into the Drowning Deep has now replaced the number seven spot. That is an adult horror written by Mira Grant, which is the pen name for Sean and McGuire, if you did not know. So let's do roll number five. Oh, and if you can't see that landed on number nine, which is Blood of Elves. This is the, oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Here it is, <laughs> Blood of Elves. Oh, my, my dog is helping us with this month's Roll the Dice. Thank you, Jones. So Blood of Elves is the first book in the official Witcher series. I read the two short story collections prior to this. So I'm so excited now to actually begin the series and get even deeper into this world. And I replaced the sequel now with Beneath the Sugar Sky, which is the third book in the Wayward Children series. So let's do roll number six. Number eight. And that is Uprooted by Naomi Novik, which is one that has been on my TBR for so long now, ever since it first came out. So I'm really excited to finally get to this one. I've heard mixed reviews on it, so I'm curious to see where I fall on those. But I absolutely love this cover. So very excited to get to it. I have now replaced that with a new category, the sequels category, and I put Waking Gods by Sylvain Nouvelle, which is the second book in the Themis Files series. I loved Sleeping Giants, so let's see if I end up rolling that one. Roll number seven. Number one. That is A Memory Called Empire by Arcady Martine. So this is another one that's been on my TBR uh, shelves for a while now, and it is a big old space opera, which I have never read a space opera before, so I'm very curious to see if I enjoy this. So that is book number seven. I have now replaced that with Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. So last roll, roll number eight. Number 12, yay! <laughs> the new release, which is the new Hunger Games prequel, of course. So A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, I will be ordering that. I was planning on ordering it anyway, but now it will be one of the eight books I must read 
for next month, which I'm so excited about. So that is the last book that I have rolled now and we will wait to fill in the new release category for next month when I figure out which books I'm most excited for coming out in June. I am so intimidated by what I am going to be reading in the month of May. It is so fantasy heavy but I'm really excited because all of these books I've been really really looking forward to. So the first book that I'll be reading is The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. <laughs> I've just heard the best things about this series. The magic system is what I'm most familiar with in this series. It basically has to do with colors and being able to like gain power from certain colors or something like that. I love hard magic systems. That's one of my favorite things about the adult fantasy genre is the hard magic systems that are explored in them. So I'm really excited for this one. I can't wait to get to it. This book is Red Sister, <laughs> look at this, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, which <laughs> the premise alone had me buying this book so quickly. Basically, people sell it as assassin nuns, and I'm like, say no more, that sounds amazing. Everyone says this is great, I haven't seen the negative review on it yet, so I'm really excited. I'm bummed I had to get the mass market paperback. That was the only way I could get the book in this cover. And I love this cover. I love that. It's just, it's so teeny. I guess it's really cute. <laughs> the next book is Blood of Elves by Andrzej Sapkowski. I've read a Witcher book now for the past two months and I'm so excited to now actually be starting the series and be following Geralt and Ciri and just, I can't wait to dive even deeper into this world. Next book is one of my must reads of this year and that's Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Don't really know what this is about. I know it's adult fantasy. I know it's some sort of like fairy tale retelling. I've heard that it's really good and has like beautiful writing. I've also heard that it's kind of boring. So I'm curious to see where I fall on the spectrum of reviews that this book has, but I'm very excited nonetheless still to get to it. I'm also going to, going to be reading A Memory Called Empire by R.K.D. Martin, and this is a big old space opera, and I don't really know anything else about it. Uh, I just saw really good reviews for it on Goodreads, and then it was really cheap on Book Outlet, so I got it, and I'm kind of intimidated by it because I've never read a space opera, but I'm also kind of excited because maybe this is a new genre that I will end up loving. So hopefully I like it. Oh my God, breath. The next book is The Lost Man by Jane Harper. This Jane Harper, she writes some of the most atmospheric thriller books I've ever read. I loved The Dry by her so, so much. And Force of Nature was also great. The Lost Man was her newest novel that I really, really wanted to get to. Haven't gotten to it yet, but this month will finally be the month I get to it. Then we've also got Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. I've heard that this magic system is also so much fun, very unique. This cover is stunning. I've wanted to get to this for a while as well. And I know that the new book, Shorefall, comes out, I think, this month. So if I love it, I'll have the next book immediately upon finishing it. So hopefully I like it. And then the last book that I rolled was The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which let's get real, I was gonna read this anyway this month, even if I hadn't rolled it. Uh, this is the prequel to The Hunger Games. Hello, hi, welcome to the book community if you haven't heard of this book before. <laughs> so those are the eight books that I will for sure be reading this month hopefully. I'll definitely keep you all updated with my reading progress. I'm trying to make dedicated reviews of all of the adult fantasy books that I read, so it looks like uh, with this month's rolls I will be making a lot of those reviews, so stay on the lookout for those as I finish all of these big old books. I can't wait. If you see any of your favorite books that I rolled, definitely let me know down below. Also, if you have any ideas for future categories that you'd want to see, or if you have any book recommendations you want to make for me, definitely leave those comments down below. I love talking to you guys about books. So thank you so much for watching this month's Roll the Dice TBR. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I release new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, bye!